After several meetings, we finally got the permission to meet the Kurdistan Workers' Party in their very own land, where Turkey is fighting a parallel war which too often claims innocent lives. The Kandil Mountains, an area which is fully under control of the PKK, the Kurdish Workers' Party guerrilla, starts. There are more or less 6,000 people living here in villages, organized in more or less what we can call a socialist and egalitarian society, based on gender equality, environment respect, and egalitarian roles within the society. They have their own checkpoints, like this one here. This is one of the checkpoints that they control. After these, you can only enter with their permission and if they accompany you. After the checkpoint we drive towards a village which Turkey bombed. All the houses are completely destroyed and eight civilians lost their lives in this attack. One of the villages that suffered a direct Turkish bombing. It happened in August 2015. There were families living here. Eight civilians died. We can see all the debris are still here. They decided to keep it here in order to prove what happened. We decided to take a look from a closer perspective to see exactly what is the effect of a bomb. This is exactly where one of the bombs fell. We can still see the hole that it created. It exploded here and destroyed the many houses. There is nothing left of the entire village. It is all destroyed due to several bombs dropped by a Turkish F-16 fighter. So we are entering one of the houses, which was bombed. And uh, as we can see, I mean, daily life signs of daily life are still here. This bombing happened at 4 a.m. in the full of the night, in the middle of the night, when the families were sleeping, so they also had no chance to escape. We visit the second village where nearly a month ago Turkey dropped a bomb. Fortunately, there were no civilians in the house. One week before our visit, a Turkish drone launched missiles against another small village, which is too remote to reach in a short time. We leave the small village to find other evidences of Turkish recent bombings, which fortunately did not fall on inhabited houses. This is the dimension of the explosion. So if we imagine a house here, it means that the house blows up completely. It's impossible. I mean, there's nothing to do. A bomb does not always explode entirely and leaves on the ground many pieces of a flammable, unexploded TNT. So these are pieces of the TNT that we found close to the crater of the bomb. It just need a lighter and a little bit of dry grass to cause this effect. So when a bomb drops, there are pieces, of course, that do not explode. It doesn't explode fully. And this is what remains on the ground. Plus, it renders the soil sterile, so nothing grows. In this very land, Turkey is constantly bombing, and it is at war against the Workers' Party of Kurdistan, which has its headquarters in the mountains here on the border between Iraq and Iran. The most recent bombing was one week ago, and there is intense drone activity. Daniele Pagani from Kandil on the mountains bordering Iran and Iraq for VO News.